Hey everyone! Hope you're all having a good time during this whole mess in the world, along with other problems I deal with. Speaking of other problems, the one I'm talking about today would be considered a worldwide issue. My name is Ryan McKean, and today I will be talking about what the greenhouse gas effect is, how is it caused, and some ways to slow it down or even stop climate change all along. Okay, so what are greenhouse gases? Well, it is made of gas that absorbs and emits radiant energy within the thermal infrared range. The gas itself is made up of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. This also happens on other planets with atmospheres. Yes, that's a thing. Greenhouse gases are interesting by itself, but you would want to learn about how it is made or the process of it. Well, you're in luck. Greenhouse gases are caused because of the human activity with all the carbon emissions. These human activities began in the Industrial Revolution around 1750 when there was only 280 ppm or parts per million, but now in 2020 it has skyrocketed to 415 ppm. The process of the greenhouse effect is like the greenhouse for plants, hence the name, but it is related to the process of the greenhouse effect for greenhouses. The light from the sun would shine on Earth's surface and bounce back into space. The reason why this is bad is because the carbon dioxide that goes in the air from cutting down trees, burning things, vehicle usage, producing things in industries, and yes, even cow farts, all add up. The carbon dioxide would rise in the air because of heat and it's less dense in air. When it's in the air, it would collect over time, blocking the light from the sun. When this keeps happening every day, it would heat up the earth a little. Hopefully this doesn't happen, but w at this rate, when it hits 2036, the levels of carbon dioxide in the air would reach dangerous levels. If this continues, it might reach a limit to where it, the sky would be fully covered in carbon dioxide, turning the hot surface to later change the freezing cold temperature because there's no sunlight. Because that's the future, we don't need to worry about it. We can just think positive right now and think about the new things we can do to solve it in the future. This leads into our final segment. There are many ways of solving climate change. One way is maybe making electricity more efficient in things that use fully on fossil fuels. Another might be converting natural things in Earth into power for stuff. These are just a couple suggestions, and there are probably many more in the future that are soon to be heard. All we can do right now is pray until people can have a worldwide solution. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it.